All right, uh, good morning. This is Luke Thomas, home quest here of the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 7.57 in the morning, 7.57 in the morning, 7.58 in the morning here on uh, Thursday, November 17th, 2022. And we are going to get into the uh, earthquake forecast and warning for uh, San Francisco Bay. And first of all, we're going to show you the... Uh, the graph right here and this is the uh, good morning Taniel, I believe it is um, here's the graph that uh, this strong signals over the last uh, couple weeks first this signal here produced a 5.1 this produced well it did not produce a 7.5 it was a very strong signal and then this one produced a 6.0 quake west of Big Sur this had the potential of producing a 6.8 and this one here a potential of 7.9 so we've had three very large large signals that did not produce a quake yet and it's been working really well around the world and uh, this these three signals are indicating a very strong earthquake for the uh, san francisco bay let me show you the latest uh, current graph and that's this one right here. And here's the signal from uh, the uh, the 12th into the 13th, where we should have got about a 7.9 quake. And then here today on the 17th, we have a strong signal on the 17th into the 19th, and a stronger one on the 20th there. And these are all indicating that uh, we're looking for a very strong earthquake in San Francisco Bay. Let me show you the latest uh, map. Uh, here in uh, California and put these back down here let's see current graph all right here's the uh, current map uh, good morning to you and uh, good to see everybody here today this is the current map and this is the 17th through the 20th so uh, the energy is uh, blocked as you can see there, right in uh, just south of San Francisco, uh, where the 1906 earthquake actually hit, right there in that 98% risk there. So that, and that's based on the 17th to the 20th. So we're looking for a very large earthquake in California, in the San Francisco Bay there, and uh, all the data keeps pointing. Uh, usually it happens right away. We Here's some uh, quakes that have happened over the last... Uh, couple weeks we had a risk in southern Italy and that produced a 5.5 it was bullseye exactly where we said it would be and then we said uh, strong earthquakes in northern Italy on uh, a certain day I don't have those maps here with me but it was a 4.5 and 5.6 occurred exactly as forecasted and then uh, in New Zealand we had a warning for northeast New Zealand and that produced a 7.0 earthquake just north of New Zealand and a 6.8, 6.5, and so on. And then we had a warning for southwestern Turkey and uh, southeastern Greece. And that produced a 4.8 earthquake exactly as forecasted, forecasted on uh, November 4th uh, in southwestern Turkey. The 5.1 earthquake was also on our uh, risk graph. And the 6.0 quake that hit west of San Francisco was also on our uh, spike in risk on in uh, San Francisco Bay. And then uh, just currently we forecasted a, a 5.0 uh, or larger in southern Taiwan, and that happened exactly as forecasted. And if you look at our current Japan forecast, we were warning of a 5.0 on the 17th, and that occurred as well. So the uh, forecast, this forecast model is working extremely well. It shows you where the uh, area of uh, highest blockage is in the energy of the electromagnetic uh, field. And uh, that currently is in the San Francisco Bay. All right, let me show you the, uh, the graph from just a couple days ago, or the, the map right here. 
And this is another forecast model, but showed the uh, very high risk in the exact same area there in just south of the San Francisco, uh, city of San Francisco. And this most current data is showing that same area there. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the uh, chat there and uh, try to get to those here in a second. All right. So once again, looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay. And uh, please warn your friends and family. And uh, we'll keep you updated. We'll come live on, uh, on the channel here uh, as soon as the quake hits. But we have another uh, trigger event coming uh, this afternoon around 2 p.m. There's a strong trigger that could trigger this quake in the San Francisco Bay. It's kind of frustrating when you get a extremely high risk. Uh, let me show you this again here. You have this extremely high risk um, in the San Francisco Bay, these last three large peaks here. And when nothing happens, it uh, it's, uh, indicates that the, the, the blockage in the electromagnetic uh, field is much stronger uh, uh, very strong blockage in the magnetic field and, and uh, will be released with a very strong earthquake. So thank you for stopping by today and we will uh, come back live as soon as this quake hits. And uh, <clears throat> yes, in 1989, the, the Loma Prieta earthquake, that was a massive earthquake. And I looked back using this current forecast model, and it worked extremely well. In fact, it worked really well on the uh, March 11, 2011 earthquake in Japan as well. I've been checking this forecast model against other forecast models, and it works extremely well. It shows you the area. Let me pull that up again here. Uh, the blockage in the magnetic field. And currently, it's right there, just south of San Francisco and uh, close to where the uh, Loma Prieta earthquake hit. And uh, it's a serious situation in that area. And we have another trigger coming through this afternoon around 2 p.m. Uh, and each one of those triggers could release that energy. And it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating when, when you have a strong peak and it doesn't release. It's like trying to push a huge boulder out of the way. Um, and... Uh, Yes, thank you so much, everybody. We will talk to you soon. God bless, and we will talk to you after the earthquake. Thanks again. Have